and welcome back to my channel um so as you can see from the title of this video what i'm going to be doing is a haul sorry if i'm like super fidgety i am standing up so that it's easier to like show you things because i got like clothes and stuff but anyways um so this is just a random haul of everything we've sort of well me that i've collected over the month that we've lived here because we just moved um you can kind of see all the mess in the background and you might be able to hear the cars because we do live on a busier street now but never nevertheless nevertheless um let's just get started so this is a haul of some clothes shoes um books there's a movie in there and there's this stuffed animal in there it's just like random stuff um so i did just get hired for my new job i start next week um and it's business casual and so i didn't really have any business casual clothes so i went out and got a few things um they also let you wear jeans as part of their business casual which i thought was really cool so I did have to get new jeans because I literally have no jeans that fit me right now because nobody tells you when you get married you gain a lot of weight. So I gained a lot of weight. I'm not going to tell you what size that I gained to because I'll probably tell you and you'll be like, ugh, Brittany, shut up. You're still like so tiny. Which is fine. Like I know I'm not fat, but it's like, I don't know, it's a big deal to go up a size no matter how small you are going up in a size, if that makes sense. So anyways, let's just get started. I have a pile over here where Riku is sniffing, so hopefully he won't lay on anything. So I'm just gonna grab things and try and go in order. I'm filming right in front of the window and he loves to stare out the window. So I guess he's gonna be my little, my little film buddy. Oh, he sees people. Okay, anyways. So the first thing I got was a new pair of tennis shoes for work. These were on sale for $25, they're Adidas's. And I have like tennis shoes, but I don't have any that are like clean. And I really wanted like a clean pair that I would only wear to work. Um, so I got this pair, they have some lighter pink stripes. Um, also, pro tip, if you didn't know this, if you're a size, four, five, or six in women's, you can wear children's shoes. These are actually from the kids section. These are a size three. I normally wear a size five. So they're cheaper and they're just as cute as women's shoes. So there's those. And then I got a pair of sandals. These are from Maui Island. These were on sale for $15 and these were also from the kids section and I thought they'd be really cute sandals for when I'm working in the spring and summer. Really comfortable. So the only pair of shoes I still need for work is a pair of black flats, but I still have time to get those. Okay, so now for clothes. I got this dress from TJ Maxx. It's just this like peachy uh, floral print and it has ruffle sleeves and it has buttons all the way down. It has pockets right here and it ties in the back like this. Um, and it's really long. It's a long dress and it kind of has a slit but it's not too big of a slit. Um, I am gonna need to get a white tank top to go under it because it is a little low and I don't have anything to hold it up, which, you know, could be a problem. That was from TJ Maxx, I don't know if I said that. I think he's got his paw on my shoulder. So this dress is from Kohl's. It is my most favorite dress ever. It's this burgundy floral print, it has a little tie here in the front, and it's got these kind of like puffed sleeves. I don't know they're not like super puffed and then it is ruched right under the you know whatever um and it's just like super cute super springy goes right down to my knees i don't know it's super soft it's just super cute i would try these on for you but since i can't edit 
without me actually putting the clothes on. I thought that would not be a good idea. So then I got this shirt on sale. I think it was a it was on sale either at Belk or JC Penny. It's just a black and navy button up plaid shirt. It was on sale for like seven dollars. Seven dollars and five cents. It was 85% off. It's really soft, you know, just a standard plaid shirt. Thought it would be good for work. Then I got this shirt. This one was also from either Belk or JCPenney, I can't remember. It's this, it's got this like lace pattern in the front. Um, floral, I don't know, it's just really cute. Uh, kind of longer will look really good with some white pants. Thought it was super cute. I think this one was like 25 to 30 dollars. I can't remember. It was also on sale. But yeah, super cute. It's a little see-through though, so I'm gonna have to wear a tank top under it and the bottom is like open seam. Is that what that's called? I can't remember. But yeah, super cute. Love it. Then for the pants, I got all of these on sale. I'll link whatever I can find for you down below if you're interested in buying it or seeing how it looks on somebody. I need to tie this bow real quick. It's nice having Rika here so that like when I'm pausing, you can just like look at his pretty face. He sees a doggo now. So these I got on sale at American Eagle. Um, they're super cute. They have this little tie in the front, which I think is so cute. They're like. A purple color but it still has belt loops in case you want to wear a belt with it but I don't know how that would work with the with the bow um and then they have this like seam going down the middle if you can see that and it has really deep pockets too for girls pants I feel like it also has pockets in the back which is always good and I just think it, they're super cute they'll be super nice for work and they're jeans but they don't feel like jeans they feel like really soft which is nice and these were from american eagle i don't remember if i said that they're high-rise jeggings but super stretch i'll link them if they're still available they're on sale but those were still kind of expensive they're still like 40 dollars, but i loved them so i still got them and then the rest of my pants i got on sale from hollister i just got this basic light wash they're all super skinny i think so here's this pair super cute basic light wash jean then i've got a white pair because i feel like white is just a good basic pant for working hopefully these won't be see-through when i try them on Ugh, i didn't think about that suck and then I got this darker wash pair and these ones are cropped at the bottom but I am short and they didn't have these available in short so I got them in the regular size so they're just regular on me instead of cropped I don't know if that made any sense so I think that's all of the clothes so then we'll move on to a makeup item I got I did get the Jeffree Star Bloodlust palette. It's super cool, velvety, I love it. I'm sure everybody's already seen it by now, but here it is, so pretty. I actually haven't used it yet. I've, I bought it the day it came out and it got to me just like a few days after that, but I haven't used it because I've been waiting to do this video before I do a video on trying this out. So super excited. And then I got two books. I got this one. It's called, ooh, it's going to be backwards, isn't it? It's called Earth Sea, A Wizard of Earth Sea by Ursula K. Le Guin. Um, never read anything from the series, but hoping it will be good. The lady who checked um, us out at the register so that she loves all of this guy's books, no matter the age group they're written for. And so she said we couldn't go wrong. 
I know you're gonna be able to hear that. Riku is tearing up a bag. And I can't edit it out. So I'm gonna try and go quick. Next, I got the Count of Monte Cristo. This is the Barnes and Noble um, Fancy Edition. It was still only $25 though, which I thought was a good deal. I absolutely love, love, love this movie. Like, I don't know why I love that movie so much. I just love it so much. And I've wanted to read it for quite a while. So I finally got it and I'm on like chapter five or six, which doesn't say a whole lot because it's super thick. It's over a thousand pages. So it's probably gonna take me all year to read it, but super excited. Um, and then we got a new movie. This is a Studio Ghibli movie. It's not a Miyazaki movie though. He didn't do the artwork. It's just a Ghibli movie. Um, but it's called The Cat Returns. It was pretty good. Not as good as like Miyazaki's classics like Spirited Away or How's Moving Castle, those ones, but it was still pretty good. Um, yeah, I mean, if you like Ghibli movies and you haven't seen this one yet, I think it's worth seeing. We watched it a couple times since we got it. Um, and then I think this is the last thing that I was gonna show you. Hopefully, if not, I guess it's not important. It's kind of random. It's this giant, what's this brand again? Squishmallow. And I kind of only wanted to show this because I'm like so proud of how we got it. We went to Walmart one day just to grab something and I saw this. This was like a couple weeks ago and it's for Valentine's Day and so I was like what? I was like this has to be on like super sale because Valentine's Day was so long ago. And so Zach got the price checked and this guy was 99 cents. He was like 90% off. I think he was well worth 99 cents. He's super squishy and I love having super squishy pillows on the bed so great find it's really lucky hmm. so i think that's everything i'm like super out of breath because i was talking so fast <sighs> oh yeah one more thing i can't believe i forgot this i have to take you with me because it is a furniture item it is this cabinet isn't it so cool? So it's pretty tall. I'll try and show you. I can't reverse my camera since I'm videoing. But you can see how tall it is on me, I guess. I am 5'1". Almost comes up to my shoulder. Um, I have all my makeup on it right now. I took it over. But anyways, I got this cabinet from Hobby Lobby. It was my reward for getting a job. And I absolutely love it. There's my stuffed duck on the floor. Boop. And my shoes. This place is really messy right now because Riku has decided he wants to tear everything up. But that's okay. He's in a mood. He's a good boy. He played with some other dogs today and it made him very happy. So now he's really tired, which is great it's hard to wear this dog out let me tell you Ugh. but anyways I think that's everything that um, I was gonna show you so oh so thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed um, seeing this little random haul of everything I've collected over the past month or so um, yeah so thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye guys.